Hey guys, it's your girl Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to share with you how to make this amazing high growth oil that you can use once or every twice a week to help you with grow bald spots, thicken your hair, prevent um, thinning and essentially help with faster hair growth. So if you're interested, you definitely want to be sure to keep on watching and watch till the end of the video so you get to see all of the steps and also instructions on how to use it. Now let's hop right into it. So to begin with, we are going to need some fresh aloe vera leaves. Now you want to cut it up and just go ahead and give it a good rinse just to remove any dirt that you may have on your aloe vera. Now aloe vera is really good because it helps to strengthen your hair. It also helps with an itchy scalp, it promotes hair growth and it gives you protection from UV damage. So it is really really good as an ingredient to add to your DIYs to help with faster or healthy hair growth. So once you washed your aloe vera, you just want to use um, tissue paper just to um, dab it a little bit just so you can dry it a little bit more and then essentially you want to cut it up into um, smaller pieces because we're going to go ahead and give this a good blend later on Okay guys, so once we've cut up our aloe vera, we're going to go in next with some fennel seeds. Now fennel seeds are high in vitamin C, calcium, iron, magnesium, which help to strengthen our hair follicles and make our hair stronger. Now stronger hair is very difficult to break, so that's why fennel seeds could be a very good ingredient also to add to your regimen. Now after that, we'll be going in with some pumpkin seeds. Now the pumpkin seeds that I'm showing you guys here are not the blended one, but I did go ahead and blend this. And this is what it looks like once it's blended. So I'm going to use about one tablespoon of that. Now pumpkin seeds also helps in hair growth because it contains a biotin, which helps to increase the keratin in our hair. And keratin just makes our hair stronger. Keratin is actually the main building block of our hair. So really, really good. It also has anti-inflammatory properties and also lubricating uh, properties for our hair. So really, really good also. Now I'm also gonna use an avocado, a ripe avocado. Um, avocado oil in general is really good. If you don't have avocado oil, guys, so if you don't have avocado, it's fine to use avocado oil as a substitute. Now avocado is really good as well because it's high in vitamin E and this also helps in promoting hair growth and keeping our hair in really good condition. So essentially I'm going to go ahead and blend the whole thing up using a hand blender, but you can use a regular blender also if you want to. that's all blended you're just going to pop it in a little pot or a frying pan or whatever that you may have that can um that you can use on the stove so i'm just going to pop that all in there and then i'm going to go in next with my oil you need a type of career oil and i'll suggest that whatever you use guys that you use something that is heat resistant such as coconut oil or rapeseed oil will be really good as well um, olive oil could also be good but then the thing is with olive oil you don't want to heat it up for too long um, so I would suggest that you have these oils that I just mentioned as good alternatives or even avocado oil so I'm using half a cup of rapeseed oil um, for this one but again you can use more if you want to or if you're looking to make more oil you can do that as well but for the amount of the ingredients that I'm using half a cup is just enough now I'm also going to go in with one tablespoon of coconut oil or just about that and um, so then after that's all done guys you want to pop it on the stove and just allow it to fry for a few minutes 
this doesn't take long at all so it should take you about five to seven minutes to get done and you know it is ready when your um what's it called when your mixture starts to sort of dry up and the oil is starting to come on top just like you're noticing here um so that at this point is definitely ready it should be ready within like five minutes so not too long so essentially once that's done take it off the stove allow it to rest for a little bit so that it can cool down and then you can go ahead and strain it so for this i will be using a recap really simple when you pop this in a recap the oil literally just comes right out and it's just super super easy but you can also use a stocking cap or a tea towel or any other thing that you may have normally to strain your DIYs And here you have it this is our oil nice and ready you can go ahead and add some essential oils to this if you want to as well they are just as beneficial for high growth um, but this on its own is super super amazing so you just want to pop that in a mason jar and then um, we are ready to use essentially so you can keep this stored in a dry cool place in the house for over two months and the oil will still be in really really good condition um, so this is it it is pretty simple now I'm going to show you guys how you can use this and we'll also talk about how often you should be using this now if you've been watching so far and you still haven't thumbs up please go ahead and give the video a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel I would really really appreciate it now I'm showing you guys here how I'm using it you've probably seen this clip already if you watched the video that I posted yesterday um, so essentially I am just playing my hair with um, uh, sort of leave-in conditioner and then I'm going in with the oil just to seal the moisture now you don't necessarily have to use a leave-in conditioner prior to using the oil you can just simply massage it to the area that needs a bit of help so if you have um, lost your edges for example or if you have you know bald patches or thin hair you just want to go ahead and just put it on that area without necessarily having to use any type of leave-in conditioner before like beforehand so apply that there and then you want to go ahead and massage your scalp as well guys scalp massages as I always say is super super beneficial for high growth because it increases the blood flow to the scalp area which in turn helps with faster hair growth so now you can use it also as a sealant just like i did here because the oil is quite nice and thick and that's actually really good also to help you seal the moisture in your hair so that could also be used on your ends to protect them and also the rest of your hair now in case you're wondering how many days a week you should be using it i would say once to twice a week but obviously you can also use it more than that if you wanted to but i would say consistency is definitely what you need to see results if you do something very sporadically you're not going to see the results as though if you were consistent with it so I'll suggest that you do keep on using it and then you will definitely see amazing results so this is it for me today guys thank you so much for watching if you made it to this point of the video I really really appreciate it now don't forget to share this with a friend or a family member you believe could benefit from the video. Leave me a comment also. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye.